There are a lot of points in that video I didn't agree with, but... The news anchor was talking to a psychiatrist, or uh, he might have been a psychiatrist, I don't know what he was, but... He, uh... In the end, he said that there's really no evidence that links video games to, uh... You know, increased crime rate or violence and stuff like that, which was good. But the news anchor was talking about, like, oh yeah, in Grand Theft Auto, you get points for killing prostitutes. It's like, no you don't. You don't get points for killing prostitutes. And someone would be like, well, you get money, which is kind of like points, but it's like... I don't know, if you, if you gotta really say money, like, if she said money, I'd be like, okay, that's true, you can't really, you can't really do that, but at the same time, like, someone, you're, you, you killed someone on the street, like, you would, you would assume that people would have money on them if they're just kind of walking around the street, you know? I wonder if there's another exit over here. It seems like, no. I mean, it, let's say hypothetically someone kills me and I'm just walking on the street. Well, yeah, I have a wallet on me more than likely. I'm gonna have money, so, like, there's nothing really different about that, but... You don't really get points for killing them. You get money. I mean, you get money for killing anyone in that game, but... I don't know, it's just like... I think that people who should strive to not be ignorant on something should do so, like, you know, news anchors, politicians, they should- Okay, wow, I couldn't see that for shit, thank you. I really think that they should take the, uh, the greatest measures to not be ignorant, because, okay, fine. This is bullshit. Because those are people that, you know, you get your news from, that you elect into office and, and stuff and whatnot, and they should be trying their best to not be- Ignorant, they should be knowledgeable, and I don't mean ignorant as in stupid, the misconception of what that word means. Everyone is ignorant, in, in some cases. Um, it just means that you don't know something. But it, it's, not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it just means that you don't know something. You're, you're not knowledgeable on that subject. And that news anchor was obviously not knowledgeable on that subject. She said she was offended by, by GTA, that was bullshit. And, uh, you know, you get points for killing prostitutes, but it seemed pretty apparent that she did not know exactly what she was talking about. Like, yeah, I'm sure you're offended by killing a prostitute in a video game. It's it's not real, and it, it shouldn't be causing people to go out and kill prostitutes. This is really fucking annoying, by the way, in case you were wondering my thoughts on that. Pretty annoying to just have random projectiles coming from off-screen really quickly at you. You, like, to have no fucking time to react. Uh, I think that was kind of my problem with this hack, it's... It's... Look, how the fuck was I supposed to know that was coming? Like, come on now. Fuck you, game. That's just my opinion, and, uh... Something else was said. That I... Oh, yeah, the, the actual psychiatrist that I agreed with... I mean, obviously, I, I agree with him that... I don't think video games cause violence, and I don't think they're to be blamed for, for the mass violence that has been popping up in, uh in the media recently, but he said, you know, oh, well, it, it might be, it might be proven that these children and whatnot, you know, if, if they see a fight break out, they're less likely to, to jump in and, and stop it, and, what does it say? The quicksands are really identical to normal sands, okay, if you get buried in the quicksand, you are dead, oh, okay, so, what you're telling me is that something is gonna kill me, and it's identical to what won't kill me. So how in the fuck am I supposed to avoid it if it's identical? Unless it's, like, nearly identical, or maybe there's some sort of tell. I don't know. But he was saying something like, oh yeah, you know, boys might just stand around and, and not be... and not break up a fight or something like that. And I was like, hey, no, hold on. I know video games have kind of gotten more popular over the past few years, and when I was in high school, I got made fun of and was terribly unpopular because I played a lot of video games. God, this bullshit. And a lot of the people that made fun of me and a lot of people that were popular did not play video games. And these were some of the people that were in fights on a daily basis. Like, they would sit there and watch people fight, you know? There'd be a giant crowd gathered around whoever was fighting. And a lot of them were people who did not like me. Because I would just fucking walk by. I'm not gonna jump in and stop or, you know, watch. I have shit to do. And. There's no point for me to be there, and then someone, you know, notices me just kind of standing there, and then they get mad at me, because I'm unpopular and they don't like me, but... You know, a lot of the people that were... that were in these fights or just standing around watching were people that would never be fucking playing video games anyway, so... Like, I don't... I don't understand where that's coming from either. I don't... I don't know why you would be like, oh yeah, fight, you know, I play video games, sure, it's desensitized me. It's like, okay... 
boys and girls were sitting around, and even, you know, back then, even less girls were playing video games. Like, I don't, maybe it was just my high school, but that was not really welcomed. It was kind of looked down upon, you know, being, being a nerd, playing video games, stuff like that. And, uh... Yeah, it was just like a lot of the people who were the troublemakers weren't playing video games and they were the ones that were causing the fights and just sort of standing there and watching so I don't understand where that's coming from either like oh yeah you're more you're more likely to stand around and watch someone fight and not break it up that's what fucking like 15 year old kids do they're not gonna most of them aren't gonna break it up unless it's gone terribly too far where someone's like busted open and bleeding and getting their ass kicked then someone will step in but if it's the initial fight, a lot of times, at least in my high school, I just kind of sat around and watched. Um, yeah, both, you know, boys and girls would just sit there, but that, that's what a lot of kids that age do. They don't fucking jump in and stop it, like, I don't, I don't understand that, where, where that information is coming from. That's always kind of been a problem, at least, at least for me, you know, if there was a fight, People would just sit there and watch it, boys and girls. And I know for sure a lot of those girls were not fucking sitting around playing video games all day. I can assure you of that. I just, I don't know where they're getting their facts and studies from. It's just, okay, this offends me, so it's wrong, and we should ban it. Oh, God. That's pretty much what, you know, what they're getting at, it seems to me. Like, I don't, I don't want to see someone die in a video game. It offends me. This is, this must be causing problems, then. It's like, n I don't think so, um, but okay, so, just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right. I think I'm gonna start using that as my motto now, and while I believe the quote is attributed to Ricky Gervais, I'm sure many people have said it over, over time or different versions of it, but you know, just because something offends your religion doesn't make you right. It doesn't mean everyone should have to stop doing, you know, whatever. I don't know what's going on here. They just like keep flashing. You know, I, re I remember when I was when I was uh, a kid, I was trying to find one of my friends, and uh, I went to his house and, and talked to like it was like his sister or something, and uh, she said like he wasn't at home. And then probably about a half hour later, he came to my house and he was he wanted me to come outside and do whatever. And uh, we went back. I was like, did you go somewhere? He's like, no. I was like, I've been at home the whole time. So I was like, okay, so, fuck. We got closer to his house, and I saw, I saw his si God damn it. I wish I could get fucking small. Saw his sister sitting there, and I was like, you lied. He, he was at home the whole time. You lied, and their parents got mad at me for saying lied because it offended them and told me that it wasn't right to say someone lied. And they were, they were pretty religious, and I was like, how, how is that, how is that offensive? They're like, use the word fib. That's, that's better than lied. I'm like, but she lied. She fucking lied to me. It's the same word, just different. And something has happened, so. Awesome. Oh! Alright, oh. Awesome. Let's see if I can, I don't even know if it's still recording, but. Oh, it must, it must still be going some, in some fashion. <sighs> of course that would happen. Is this even still recording? I, it might be. I, I really hope that's all okay, but, uh, my, my, uh, stuff minimized, so I'm gonna have to take a look at that and see what that looks like and possibly do a little bit of editing, but if something wonky gets left in, then it was just, uh, what the hell? Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, something wonky gets left in, um, someone messaged me and it minimized my thing, which, of course, that would happen right there. Of course it would happen while I'm recording this, so... Hopefully, the rest of my... My recording is, is fine, but... It's just stuff like that that just really gets on my nerves, where it's like... Just because you're offended doesn't mean everyone else needs to fucking not do something. Just because you're offended by the word lied. Because I'm apparently... I'm apparently a child who shouldn't be saying lied. And at that point, I was probably, you know, 12 or 13 or something like that. But just because you're offended doesn't make you right, and unfortunately a lot in our society, the people who are most offended get the most say in, you know, what is right and what's not. And I'm not saying, you know, murder. I'm not talking about that, I'm just talking about, you know, little stupid crap like saying the word lied and someone getting offended by it. It's like, okay. 
I think there are greater things in the world to get upset about, and we shouldn't be wasting resources and time on lecturing someone about something like that. But whatever, I'm actually gonna stop this and see if the recording turned out okay, and then uh, go from there. But thank you for watching, we'll be back for more Mario, hopefully quicker than usual. We'll be back for Captain Crush. I want that to be Captain Crunch, but it's not. So thank you for watching, I'll talk to you guys later.